Hi there, we're back in the shelter. Thanks a lot for joining me. Today, uh, it may not be the most exciting video. We're gonna be doing a lot of digging. Now, I'm not sure how I'm gonna film that to make it interesting, but we're gonna do our best. Uh, basically, uh, first I'm gonna take down that black tarp. This is the last time that ugly black tarp is gonna be there. Before I leave, I'm gonna put another temporary setup uh, just to protect the gear we have inside. But for now, I'm gonna tear that down and then start doing a whole lot of digging through some roots and gravel. Should be fun. Sorry about your window, Sandra. Have to fix it later. All right, so that went pretty good. Um, there's a fair amount of gear to unpack from this because this was our spring summer storage area. So I'm gonna clean everything up. Once I've got that done, I'm gonna start digging. There's, there's probably like a foot difference in height, so there's gonna be a lot of dirt to move. We'll see how far I can get. But uh, that's my goal for today, anyway. Sorry, I accidentally had the camera off, but I've got the uh, got the stove out and give her a bit of a dusting. But that's not my priority. We're gonna move over to the floor of the tent and start digging away. So first thing I'm gonna want to do. I don't know if the camera catches it, but I've got some uh, ant mounds here. So we're going to clean that out and all the edge here. Try to get as many of the pine needles out and hopefully discourage them from coming back. There, that camera angle should be better. As you guys can see, it's just these needles. So I've got this old snow shovel that I always keep here. It's handy if ever we forget our how much more life it's got. It, this thing is like 30 years old, but it's going to be perfect for moving this stuff. And scraping the ground. So to give you guys a perspective of what kind of lean I'm dealing with here, it's pretty significant. So I've got a lot of dirt to clean out. We'll see how far we can get today. It's not going to be fun. I don't know how interesting it is going to be to watch, but hopefully from the start to the end, it'll be satisfying at that point. So here we go. <clears throat> oh. Oh, this is not going to be fun. Oh. Brought the wrong tool. Uh. 
I've been digging for a while through roots and rocks and all that good stuff. Uh, I've been throwing stuff over here in a pile, uh, but there's a lot more than that at the beginning. For the first long while, I was just kind of throwing it around willy nilly everywhere on both sides, but I figured I might as well stack it in one spot. And then when I have the sledge here, maybe I can pile it all together and move it. Might have to reuse some to level it out, but uh, this is what we got so far. It's going to be a huge improvement in terms of comfort inside here, uh, especially for sleeping because there was always a lean so we couldn't sleep lengthwise um, from there to there. So maybe now it being even will have more options for sleeping. So that's the big reason why I wanted to level that out and make it more comfortable, more options and uh, nicer. So hopefully this works out. Uh, I'm going to be taking a bit of a breather. because. I'm just covered in sweat. <laughs> wasn't the easiest stuff to dig through. It's not done, but this is what we got so far. So we've got the floor significantly leveled, uh, not as smooth as I would like, but I will be bringing a rake next time and make it nice and comfortable and level. So uh, quite happy with uh, what we got so far and uh, I think we're going to put the other tarp up in a few minutes. It's going to be just temporarily set because it's going to take some work to line it up correctly. So I'm just putting it up for now with the new tarp just so that we can cover our gear and keep it nice and dry for the next couple of weeks. And so since we're at the property, I had to go visit the old teepee shelter. And that nice maple in the back there. This thing is a beauty. So, I mean, if I wanted to, I could just concentrate on this. There's still more we want to do here. Not so much on the shelter, a little bit on the tarp, but it's mostly digging out a little bit of a fire pit and uh, maybe having wood storage. But I do want to get the other shelter fixed up because sometimes we have other friends and uh, there's only room for about three people to sleep in there. And so it's, it'd be nice to have the other shelter at hand. We can bring hot tents that we have done in the past. It works fantastic. But it'd be nice to just have the option to have that shelter nice and comfortable safe and uh warm so i'm hoping uh, that i can get it done i don't know uh i'll talk a bit more about that in a few minutes you guys hear that wind a bit of a storm brewing It'll be hitting overnight and that leads into what i was talking about earlier about whether i'm going to be able to take care of all the chores that I kind of set up for myself in the last uh, video here at the shelters. So let's talk about it. 
the last video that uh, we were here, I uh, listed a whole bunch of plants that I want to kind of get done before the snow falls. I had some doubt whether, whether I'd be able to get everything done. Uh, I had planned every weekend from September through to November to be down at this property, with the exception of one weekend where we had a camping trip planned, uh, which we did in the last video, if you guys saw it. We went uh, kayak camping with our good friend Gene. It was so much fun. But um, in the, uh, the meantime and going forward, uh, the personal life has kind of gotten through where there's been a lot of stuff that I had to do on the outside. And uh, because we work full time, we only have weekends to be here. Unfortunately, uh, the weekends, um, we had a hurricane go by. I can't remember the name of it, but we have another hurricane coming in tomorrow, which is Philip. So I was hoping to spend two or three days here this weekend, but I only get one day because that hurricane's coming in and winds and these trees is not safe. So um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do all the plans I had for the A-frame. I, I really want to get that done this year. I'm going to keep working away at it, get it as far as I can, but I just don't know if I'll get it finished in time because there's work I want to do on this shelter as well. I want to level out the floor. We want to build a big old fire pit inside the, uh, the stone pile that's behind the shelter here so that we can sit out here in the winter and stir up at the stars with a nice big old fire which means we also need to build up a wood supply and a shelter to hold that wood. So there's still so much work to be done and winter can roll in in a hurry. So hopefully I'll have until mid to late November before the snows fall and to get things done. We'll see how it goes. Um, sorry if we don't get everything done, but uh, we're going to do our best and I hope you guys join us for all the builds because uh, we do this for fun. It is fun. I absolutely love it here. I'm out here all, my, all by myself today and I'm so relaxed. Just a big old smile on my face digging through rocks and root. So that, that gives you a bit of a glimpse of what going through my head. I just love being out here in the woods. So uh, again, we're going to get as far as we can and uh, having you guys with us, it means the world. So thanks so much. So like I said earlier, we want to build a bit of a shelter to store our wood to keep it nice and dry when we're using the uh, teepee shelter. So uh, more than likely, we're going to be coming out here once that's hopefully done. Uh, either way, we need to come down with some chainsaws and gather a whole bunch of firewood because we come here a lot. I mean, we just love winter camping and uh, luckily there's tons of dead standing trees around. Uh, but uh, Hope you guys don't mind a video of us uh, with saws going out and chopping some wood. But uh, it's usually, we make it a fun day out of it. Oftentimes we'll do an overnighter. So uh, get a couple of people down and uh, build up our firewood stores. Um, it's always fun to be out here, no matter what you're doing. If you're working, you're actually having fun. So it's pretty chill and I uh, hope you guys join us for that too. But that'll be at some point down the road. All right, so instead of the ugly black poly tarp we had, I got this new tarp. It's a cotton canvas. It weighs a ton, <laughs> but it's gonna be brighter. It's gonna be stronger. And I think it's gonna look a whole lot nicer. So we're just gonna drape it across the top for now. I'm gonna cinch it a bit so it doesn't blow in the wind, of course. But uh, this is just a temporary setup for now. It's gonna be readjusted in the weeks to come. One thing I wanted to do to uh, reduce pressure points on this new tarp is I'm going to trim up the post here so that there's more weight concentrated on the upper bar here and less on these and so it, it should reduce the risk of these poking through the tarp. Because uh, some of you will likely ask, uh, this vest, it's not a construction vest, it's a, it's a hunting vest basically, most of you will probably know, but uh, there, I always get the question, basically this is private property but we don't put any uh, no hunting signs. We like to be friendly with the, the locals so if they want to come out hunting here, that's okay. 
Uh, we uh, do wear these for our own protection. So that's why we wear the orange. Well, it looks like our tarp is, is pretty close to spot on uh, for the length. It's a little bit short here. I kind of knew that going in. It was uh, basically what was available, but I have some leftover tarp, so I'm probably going to sew it together to try to remove any gaps. So I'm happy with it so far. We'll uh, keep arranging it and show it a bit more in detail in a second. There's a gap at the bottom. On the other side, it's flush to the ground. This works for me because I wanted to build up a bit of a wall anyway. I'm probably going to put some logs up, maybe two or three thick, just to keep the tarp off the ground and make it last a little bit longer. So this is a really good length. There are some gaps at the front, but we're going to adjust that uh, with a different design than what we had before. Uh, I have some leftover tarp from the previous tarp that we had cut up a little bit, so we're fine there. Uh, it's going to require some design that I'm not the best at, but we'll figure it out. Quite happy with the, the color. It's perfect. It fits the, uh, the, the whole design. So uh, just putting it up temporarily. Uh, don't draw any conclusions until you see the final finished project. But uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Another thing I forgot to mention is these, these bracing poles here. This one here I'm going to tie up in the middle. Same on the opposite side. But I'm also going to add at least one more on either side just to, for more stability. I might even add a third, but I think uh, I think two will work out pretty good. Uh, so uh, I can already tell this is brighter than what the other shelter looked like. I mean, there's some gaps there, so we're going to close those up. But uh, yeah, um, I'm quite happy with it so far. Um, I think it's going to be an improvement. I mean, already just having a floor level here is just going to make things so much more comfortable to spend some time in here. And uh, if it makes the, the shelter brighter, that's a bonus as well. So, pretty happy so far. The work is, uh, is fun and uh, hopefully it's worthwhile. One quick walk around. Got the stove in here. Some of the gear that we keep in here. Obviously, there's gaps that we didn't have before, so that's going to have to be fixed. Got it. I have these cinched down. Some bungees here in each corner. So, I'm hoping to be back here fairly soon. To keep working away at this one and also the other shelter so um, I'm glad to have gotten this far um, when I started digging the ground I wasn't sure how far I'd get but I'm quite happy to have that a lot better than it was it's not perfect it never is but it is a lot better than it was The 
chimney jack that we had in the old shelter is going to be repurposed and installed in the new tarp. For now, I'm going to pack up this tarp and we're going to keep it here because I'm probably going to reuse it just to waterproof some of our wood shelters. Uh, it looked nice with just the wood before, but it never really uh, protected 100% uh, from the rain. And uh, I mean, when you're camping out here in the winter, you want to have dry firewood. So I, I have no qualms of reusing this tarp. That's going to wrap it up for this trip, folks. Thank you so much for watching. It's always so appreciated. It's fun to have you guys along on these trips. The shelter is looking, I think, a lot better than it did before with that black tarp. Let me know what you guys think. There's still a lot more to come. I wish I could do an overnighter, but uh, Hurricane Philip is blowing through here and it's not safe to be here in high winds. So, I hope to be returning soon. There's a lot more I want to do, as you guys know, and I hope you guys join us for it. And uh, we'll see you all again soon. Take care.